Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you're having an issue with Streamlabs when you're trying to do a connection on Twitch. And it says that there was an error fetching your channel information. You can try fetching the information again or you can just go live. If the error persists, you can just try logging out and back in. So I'm going to go through a couple different potential workarounds for this. So first thing I'd actually would recommend if you have your Twitch account, just go over to your user profile icon, select that, and then go down to settings, and then where it says other connections and then Streamlabs, you want to disconnect it, and then you just would go ahead and reconnect it to your Twitch account once again, once you've disconnected it, and see if that resolves the problem. Another thing you can go about trying here would be to open up your web browser. So let's just do Google Chrome for today's tutorial, because that's what I imagine most of you guys streaming are probably going to be using. And we're going to select the setting icon at the top right corner of the browser screen. We're going to go ahead and left click on that. And then select more tools. And then select clear browsing data. And just give it a moment here. And you want to go select the advanced tab. So you want to uncheck everything except for site settings. You can keep the other stuff checked if you want, but it's not required. But we're going to be doing the site settings reset. So make sure that's check marked at least. And then you want to make sure time range is set to all time and then select clear data and then you restart your browser see if that resolves the problem a third thing we can try here would be to go over to Google so you're going to head over to Google so search Google in the address bar so in the Google you want to search a visual C++ redistributable download and just search for that you want to select the download visual C++ redistributable for Visual Studio 2015 going to go ahead and open that up. Select the orange download button. Select the correct one for your version of Windows. So if you're running a 64-bit operating system like most of you guys probably are, you're going to select that one. Otherwise, you're going to select the 32-bit download, which is times 86. Like I said, most of you guys are going to be downloading the 64-bit one, which is the first one. But since I know I'm on a 32-bit operating system, I'm going to select the second one here. And then I'm going to select Next. If you don't know the difference, I have videos on my channel explaining the difference. Just go ahead and search for it on my channel. You'll see a whole video tutorial showing you guys how to determine the difference between 32 and 64-bit windows. So anyway, we can see that it is almost, it's almost done downloading the installer. And we're going to go ahead and run that. Close out the web browser too if you want. You want to agree to the license terms and conditions and then select install. So it's already installed on my computer, that's why it said setup failed, but otherwise you just would go through the install process and that should be able to resolve the problem. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope that I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.